the men's 1,000 metres A final in Dresden at this World Cup event. Dan Koss goes into an early lead. At the back, Park Jiwon, but at the top of the leaderboard when it comes to winning the Crystal Globe. And he could really enhance his position at the top of the standings if he gets a win here. But at the moment, it's the tall Canadian, William Dungenou, who is in the lead. Jang sung third behind, Koss! Koss gone, Dungenou having to recover position. Video review will undoubtedly take place there. And all of that has put Jang sung into the lead. Dungenou's done incredibly to stay on his feet and to be in second place. Galiatmetov third, Park waiting to time his move, waiting to judge it, Dungenou's down as well now. Oh my goodness. Is everything being set up for Park ji to take another Crystal Globe? Here he goes. At the bell, Park ji moves into a leading position. He said one Crystal Globe isn't enough. I have two hands, I want two of them. And he may well be grasping a second one very soon indeed. He's won again, Park ji -on. Zhang finishing second, Galiakmatov third, but some activity to be scrutinised by the refereeing team. Don Genou seemed to be in quite a good position for much of this, despite that uh, contretemps with Dan Koss. A little bump there almost with uh, Gali Akhmetov, and then he loses his footing, Don Genou, and hurtles into the boards. A path was cleared for Park. And he's not a man who misses a chance. The reigning champion of the world. The absolute finest. Two hands, two crystal globes, that's the dream. Corbett has much to look at. That's interesting, isn't it? The outstretched arm potentially there of Koss. Conversation. Doesn't look as though there was enough for them to uh, take any further action. The man of the moment, of many, many, many moments, to be frank. Mark Jion, the victor over Jang Sung-woo, Adil Galiakhmetov taking the bronze medal.